do you stop comparing yourself to others? How do you deal with the fact that some guys can go to the gym, just download a bullshit plan off the internet, some random diet plan, barely get any sleep, barely do any technique work, learn the exercises, nothing, and they get better gains than you? It's a very good question, isn't it? And you're watching these videos, you're educating yourself, you're learning how to improve yourself, you're reading textbooks, articles, maybe even some scientific literature, and this guy's making better gains than you. This guy's barely doing anything right, and he's making better progress. And he looks better than you as well, and everything is just better about him. How do you deal with the fact that this is happening? Well, this is a great question, actually, that I got today from one of my clients, and uh, right now it's, it's about 6.30 right now, and uh, did about 15 calls so far, still have a lot of work to do, and gotta hit the gym as well for a two hour session. And I got this question at a moment when I was kind of feeling tired, right? I was doing all these calls and uh, I was feeling a little bit drained. And then I got this question, I was like, holy shit, <laughs> okay. It's, it's time to rant a little bit, okay. So the thing is, here, here's the first thing, all right? So every single person, you watching this video, me here, everybody, has a unique genetic blueprint. That's the first thing to consider. That's the thing that really makes the thing that I'm doing a horrible plan for you in some cases, right? Guys always ask you, okay, what's your diet plan? Are you doing intermittent fasting? What are your calories? What is your training plan? Dude, what I'm doing might be horrible for you. Might be the, the exact opposite of what you should be doing. Could be overtraining you, could be undertraining you, could be something that is completely off. So. You cannot ever take someone else's plan and just copy paste that and just do that. I mean, you can, of course, but not if you want the maximum results. That's the first thing, that's just to point out there, I mean, this is something you guys already know, right? You just can't copy shit and expect to get the same results when the input, your genetics are different. And then when you look at a guy, I mean, this is a question for my clients, like you look at a guy in the gym, like the guy's doing horrible technique, he's doing like, some quarter squats, you know, he loaded up the bar, you know, he's just doing some random shit. And uh, I don't even call these squats, by the way, I just call them knee bends because that's literally what you're doing. You're just bending your knee a little bit and then for the next four days you're in pain and uh, doesn't even count as a rep. And uh, I'm really hardcore in technique with my clients. I always tell them, hey, technique 100% or the rep doesn't count, right? So uh, going forward, right? So my client asked me, uh, Simple question, right? He's just starting out. He's been training for a couple of months and um, he's seeing some good gains, but then he's working so hard on this, right? We, we he is educating his physique on, um, in terms of like how to build a great looking body, what are macros, calories, tracking, uh, what is the best way to cycle calories for him, like what are the best foods for him and all these things and the training and the, and the exercise technique and all of that and the, how to paradise his workout and <laughs> He's looking at a guy in the gym and the guy's just doing something completely off and the guy looks fantastic and he's like asking me, well man, why am I doing all of this when I can just do what he, this guy's doing and I get the same results? And that's uh, my friend where the things fall apart, right? It's very difficult to know the context of what the hell that guy is doing in the gym. If you saw my workout, for example, on some days you might see me do two sets of curls and you might look at my bicep and say, well, shit, you know, his bicep is twice the size as mine. Maybe, you know, if you just started out and I'm not bragging in a way like my bicep is not that big. But let's say you do see the bicep is under a pump and it, and it looks decent and you're like, okay, I'm gonna do exactly what that guy is doing. And you start doing two sets of curls and you wanna grow your bicep, you just do that. What do you think is gonna happen? <laughs> You're just doing some random thing that you saw without having the greater context. And that day I probably just went for two sets of bicep because I didn't do any bicep work that day and I just wanna maintain my muscle mass, right? I just wanna hit the bicep a little bit just to give it a little bit of a spark of stimulation and that's it. I'm not trying to build the bicep with two sets, right? In the grand scheme of things, my workout plan might include that I'm just maintaining certain muscle groups and you're seeing that and you're thinking, well, that's how you get those muscle groups. That's how, that's how you built up that muscle group. You don't know what the context is. Maybe I'm maintaining, maybe I'm trying to overtrain certain muscle groups. Maybe I'm trying to just for, for some crazy reason, maybe I'm trying to undertrain some muscle groups or just tone down the volume for a good reason because I can train other muscle groups harder. 
How do you know the context? How do you know that I didn't show up that morning to do another session and then this is the evening session? So I had half a half a workout. How do you know that I'm not showing up in the gym one extra day when you're not there and I'm filling in the gaps with adding extra volume? Maybe I'm training higher frequency. Maybe I'm training full body six days a week like I am right now. And uh, if you show up in the gym just three times, you might be thinking that I'm training full body three times, right? It is impossible to know the context. An assumption, assumption, my friend, is the root of all evil. Assuming things. Everything I've ever assumed about training and nutrition turned out to be wrong. When I look at in the past, when I look at the context of the situation, when I look at things that I did wrong, was always when I assumed and I didn't check for facts. I didn't check if it's backed up by science or by a textbook, which is kind of a summary of science or by by someone who is a greater expert or someone who is more knowledgeable than me or in general, my experience, right? If I assumed something without actually trying it out, that's probably wrong, right? Similarly, when you assume anything in, in the other areas of your life, it's usually that's kind of the cause of the error, you know? You assume that your friend was supposed to text you for something and then it didn't and then you're pissed off <laughs> because you assume, you know, that there is no, uh, there's no other reason and things like that, right? So assumption is, is really one of the root causes of why we make poor decisions in training and nutrition and pretty much anything in life. And one poor way to go about your decisions is to assume that the guy in the gym is doing exactly what you need to be doing. Like he's doing exactly the plan that you are missing. He knows the magic pill. He has the magic solution that is gonna get you to where he's at and it's gonna get you there easier without the hard work, without the learning, without watching the videos, without doing anything, right? And uh, I'm ranting here like an idiot, but I mean, it is what I, my experience has taught me. You know, don't assume shit. Try stuff out, see what works, and don't assume that anything you read and that can just be taken for granted without testing it out at least on yourself. If you're not a coach like me, you have to test shit out on yourself. If you're a coach, then you can see what the patterns are when you coach hundreds of people you will start seeing patterns of what might work better for certain situations and that will allow you to make better decisions and one point other is that i know guys who look better than me with zero training i had i know guys like that i know guys who just do five ten push-ups at home they're construction workers they have an amazing looking body they have great genetics they, they look better now, without ever walking into a gym than me after I was training for five years. They look better. They, these guys look better without ever stepping inside of a gym, without ever lifting a dumbbell. What do you do about that? Well, nothing. It is not you. Unless you can somehow switch your body, you know, if you can gather your Dragon Balls and you can switch the body with the, with the person, you know, if you grant you a wish, there's nothing you can do, man. Like, that's it. Take what you got, you know, work with what you got. And outwork, you know, that's the only thing you can do. You can outwork, you can put in the effort, you can put in the hard work. You can sit the fuck down and make a plan and make the best out of what you have. And if you do that, you will look fantastic. I guarantee you that. I guarantee you that you will look fantastic if you put in the effort, if you grind, if you put in your effort and in the gym, grind, outside of the gym, chill the fuck out, relax, and you will build a great looking body, investing time, learning about nutrition, about dieting, about recovery, how to get good sleep, how to manage your habits, how to become a better person, all of these things will turn into you maximizing your potential, and that's ultimately all you can do. Think about that for a second. What the hell else can you do? Like, what is under your control? That's a really good way to look at it. What is in the circle of influence? You know, the old Stephen Covey. What's in your circle of influence? Should I be concerned that some guy is making gains on three sets of curls and I need to do 12 sets of curls with the current genetics that I have or my current situation, my life stressors, my, my relationships with other people, maybe I had a fight with someone earlier that day or I was just exhausted like I am right now from doing 15 calls and just like my fucking brain doesn't work anymore and I go to the gym and I can barely, like I can barely lift and um, should I be concerned about that? No, man, like, like when you're working on your own path, when you're working on yourself, take what you have and make the best, the best out of that and nobody can judge that. 
Not even you, not even you, unless you're crazy, right? <laughs> unless you're crazy, right? And you can judge yourself for, for doing the, after you do the best you can, right? That's, that's crazy. After you do the best you can, that's it. That's the end. That's the end game. There's, there's nothing more than that. that. That's the final frontier, you know? Do the best you can and try to improve that over time. And it, it is about the marginal gains. Like we, we can discuss here all day, but what, what is your life? Like what is your life right now? What is your fitness journey? It's just a compilation of all those tiny little decisions. Like anything you do right now, any goal you have, you know, people like to think about goals, but break down that goal into behaviors that lead to that goal and see what thing will lead to the behavior. And then you compile all those behaviors and that will gonna get you to the goal anyway. So you don't even need the fucking goal, right? If you just gather the behaviors, if you just take whatever 20, 30 behaviors it takes to get ripped, you just take those behaviors, you break down them, what, what are the tiny habits that are gonna lead you there, you write those down and you start building one at a time or multiple at a time. If you're, if you're someone who has a lot of time and you're a little bit crazy and OCD, you can start doing all of them, invest all the time in that, Eventually, you identify, okay, these are the 20% that gives 80% of the results, so I'm gonna focus on these first. You build up those behaviors, you make them automatic with habits, you work on them every day, and you get to your goal. Voila, <laughs> how is this that? It's crazy, right? And where is there, is there any place there for worrying about what someone thinks of you or for worrying what someone else has done? No, like there's no place for that. When you're on your journey, when you're really working hard, you don't have fucking time to think about something else. Like, what do you think about this? I don't know, dude, I don't have time. <laughs> I don't have time to think about it. I'm, I'm working, I need to go to the gym, right? I need to crush it, I, I need to work on myself, right? You or yourself are the person who you need to work on. It doesn't matter what someone else is doing. I mean, it's good to have competition. It is really good to have, in, in certain environments, if you're the biggest fish in the pond, like if you're the biggest dude in the gym or the most jacked dude there or the strongest dude there, probably not gonna make a lot of progress, right? Because there's no competition. So it's good to have some competition or have some people around you that are pushing you. But again, it's you against you. The person in the mirror, that's, that's the person who you're looking to become better than. That's the person, right? It's not the, it's not the guy in the gym or the guy even on the stage, if, you, if you're a professional, if you're competing, it's not the guy on the stage that you need to beat. It's this guy. It's actually this guy here, like this, this monkey brain that you have, that, that I have as well, this, this monkey brain right here, like this on the back not the prefrontal cord, but this thing in the back here, that's what we need to beat. The thing that is telling you every morning that you should stay in bed, the thing is that is telling you every day that it's not worth to go to the gym, that you can just stay home and chill the fuck out. You can just watch a movie, you know, get some food, you know, enjoy this meal, you know, it doesn't matter if, you, if it's unhealthy and if it's destroying your health, if it doesn't have the uh, future perspective or anything, it doesn't matter, you know, it, it's good now. Right? It's the procrastination brain. It's the brain that doesn't lead to action. It's the brain that, that comes up with excuses. It's the brain that is running away from discomfort. It's the brain that gets paralyzed when it's supposed to take action, when it's supposed to face the fear. That's the brain that is telling you that the cold shower is too cold and you push it out and you don't do it. That's the brain that is telling you when you're supposed to meet a stranger that you pussy the fuck out and run away. And you don't do anything and pretend that you're cool. That's, that's my friend there the problem, that's the, that's the person you're trying to beat. And that's you, that's nobody else. And if you can conquer that person, if you can master how to manage that little thing that is gonna be there with you until the day you die, until I die as well, you know, that's something we need to manage every day, then you want to conquer that. That's where the secret is, you know? That's the cave, you know, that, that the secret is hiding in. You know, once you get in there and you start, conquering that, you conquer yourself, you will be successful, whatever you're seeking, whether it's better gains, to get jacked, get ripped, shredded, whatever it is, become better than this or that, it doesn't matter in the end, because when you stop comparing yourself, you will actually already have had enough experience, and you won't even care. At the end, you won't even give a fuck. And at that point, you're gonna already look good, and it's gonna be all great. So. Thanks for listening to my rant a little bit. A little bit of a different video this time. Didn't want to make it too complicated, too structured, too scientific. Just 
rambling from the top of my head. Share a couple of thoughts with you guys. Been a long fucking day and I mean, still not ended. So got a lot of work to do. Um, I'm gonna share this uh, with you guys and decided to put it out. Uh, let me know in the comments below. Resonate with any points? How do you feel about these types of videos? Would you like to hear more of these types of videos at some points? You no, know, maybe not every day, but at some point, you know, I would like to um, hear your opinion to see if this type of video resonates with you. So, and aside from that, make sure to hit that subscribe button below to support the channel, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.